me sword fighter. I guess this would be a very bad matchup for Bowser, just judging by heavies versus England. Plaid Man is doing work for him. Oh, unfortunately. Can we get sniped? Oh, nope. Popping off a little bit. Down throw. Hard breath. Up tilt will take it. Oh, Vlad getting himself, he's feeling himself back in it. Gotta get that little bit of taunting, a little bit of disrespect. Definitely gotta play more safe now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Good tech. Tries to read the land. Uh, oh, with rage, not enough. But he can kill with probably straight back air. Maybe straight smash attack. Possibly even straight up air. Oh! And it is even stocks, but Cladman is very, very high. Oh, the double grab. What a chat. Okay, so we're returning to neutral. This is taunting me. Oh. Quite yet, but can you snipe him? Oh, that might be it. That was definitely could have been bad. Kiwi. sense lower blast zones smaller stage in general
So you like Tails to do this? Three, right? Yes. Two, one, go. Oh, I just noticed it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we're joined on commentary by the, the legendary Vermin Uvis. Hello, everybody. So, Kiwi uh, dominated Platinum in the first beginning of the last game. I caught a glimpse of that. It was looking like a clean three stock. And then Platinum had some insane Bowser voodoo and uh, started coming back. Didn't quite make it, though, no. judging from the uh, score count. No, it was, he was like 180 when he got killed. Oh. Well, I mean, it's it looks pretty even here. Uh, the Platinum making. Oh, that's going to probably. Oh. It is dead even. It is no longer dead even. Let's see. I mean, this stage has smaller blast zones off the side and off the top. So it, it is a good pick for Bowser with his side B kills and all of his general kill moves. Yeah, and I, I, I can imagine that uh, Kiwi probably banned Battlefield uh, and something else. And Flyman knows that those platforms, oh, that was an interesting. Um, I, I, yeah, I assume it was a miss input as well. Or he was just being the ultimate chat. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, Kiwi is definitely he's 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 been up and coming for quite a long time now. He he's um, he, he's uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say. He's he's definitely he's he's not someone you can just like sleep on. He's he knows what he's doing, and he just uh, every now and then just has these just like breakout performances. And right now he's doing really well against Plaidman. Plaidman uh, last week or this past Tuesday actually beating uh, Mata twice and uh, at Coin Op and Nampa. So he's uh, Plyman's Plyman's Ply been on a tear. So a lot of a lot of upsets happening recently here in the the Treasure Valley. But it's definitely really interesting. But Plyman is holding the lead now, taking that stock. Yep, and that's definitely uh, Kiwi is. He tends to be a more uh, emotional player. So it's when when he is at a deficit, he can sometimes play a little bit more aggressively. And I think we might see a little bit of that. I think some people are the kinds of people that, uh, when they're down, they play better. Uh, I don't know if Kiwi's one of those players, but we can see. It could po very possibly be so. Gladman clearly demonstrated last time he played very well while he was down. And, you know, it's funny because um, something just clicks. It's, it, you know, it's I, I actually, I talked about it at length um, a while ago, but... Basically, it's just when, when you're down, you play in a way that you really just can't force yourself to play when, and I mean, it's just, you look at even the best players in the world, like Leo, you know, he just, people play just as people fundamentally different when there's, when there's something on the line, when they don't have any sort of risk allowance. And good read, yeah. recognizing that Kiwi really just wanted to get off that ledge. But, um, and... That's when, and I think like, did you see the recent upsets with Leo, with against Tweak and Sam Sora? I don't think so. So he was down uh, two two games, uh, loser side of grand finals of both tournaments. Uh, he was at a two stock defi a deficit against both and brought it back with a four six O's from that pivot point. So it's just you you recognize. You, you, neither of you wants to make you never neither of you wants to overcommit at the beginning, and it's sort of that mutual. The commitment to not overcommit that sort of makes it play out a bit a little bit faster or I'm sorry no it's it, it's um what am I trying to say it, it's it's that it's that willingness to commit at the early stages of the game that makes the game go faster then once your risk allowance sort of dwindles that's when you really start picking and choosing and I just don't think that's something you can really it's like an autonomic nervous response you know yeah. it's not something you control it's something you can you know, try to do, but I think ultimately just as more is on the line, there is greater risk, that just physiological response happens, and you are just more risk averse, and therefore just play much more safely, and just you just don't take the same risks. You, 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 at that point, it's not about gaining the lead, it's about, or, or at that point, it's not about uh, losing a lead, it's about coming back from a deficit, and that just, the way you have to play in that, just the whole mentality behind it is just a totally different animal and some people just really tap into that really well they just go uh some people nuts. might even uh, pick their characters in regards to that like joker for example is a very good character for coming from behind mm -hmm. and so it's very 
It's very interesting to see the different and the, the time. Oh the yeah, Pli Pli Man feeling himself. He's 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 letting Kiwi know that this isn't uh, and goes for the the uh, hood, full of hood spa, going for that raw Bowser bomb. Sometimes you just gotta do it. You gotta let people know where they stand <laughs> with you. And Kiwi getting eager for that. Not quite at the percent where he would have gotten much mileage off of that. Probably could have got a back air out of it. Yeah. Uh, other than that. I mean, at this point, I'm, it's the kind of person I think that the competitor is when someone starts BMing you. I feel like you either get two responses, either they get mad or they just give up. Yeah. And I, I think it's a, it's a learned skill to be more patient with those kind of situations. Yeah. I, it definitely is, and, and and falling out of that uh, down tilt, that's and and also securing it with that back throw though. That's got a Plyman's probably feeling good right now. There's a lot on the line uh, for him in this set because obviously uh, Kiwi is by far the underdog. So you get that stock lead, you are feeling pretty good, feeling a sigh of relief. Uh, you can start to and go and start to go for raw Bowser bombs. <laughs> uh, would he have fallen out of Kiwiya there? Or? What's that? Would you have thought would have the Booyah not connected there? I don't think so. Oh, and still not going to seal it with that back throw. And maybe trying to push him off a bit. And he did air dodge, but maybe trying to get a uh, little bit of mileage off that win box on the ink. Padman, uh, Plaid Man had a really big advantage here. Doesn't quite get the grab. Gets the parry, though, and smacks him in the face. That F tilt is definitely one of Bowser's best tools. Absolutely, it's just and it's so great for ledge trapping too. It stays out for so long and extends so far below the ledge. But Kiwi getting really eager here to tack on some percent. On uh, the Bowser fire at ledge also. Yep, uh, Bowser, Bowser, uh, Plaid Man is uh, he's very good at the ledge. He 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 understands what you want to do, and he knows how he knows how to impress upon you that he's covering options. Yes. He knows it's like he knows that you know. That he knows. Yep, and uh, Kiwi's gonna have to make something happen really quick here, because if he lets Plaidman get too far away with this lead, then it's gonna be really tough to bring this back. Yes, and it's already like every um, percentage that's stacked on. Yep. Uh, Kiwi not too happy. Oh, oh, and Kiwi, and. Kiwi uh, see, ma ma making sure 